Hello everyone. The website Get Quote app helps user to get in quotes from the website shop for a product with login or non-login user and create end customers for the non-login users. Now let's create end product. So for creating a new product, we need to get into the inventory and the products we can see end products where we can see a list of products which are already created. So let me get into one of the product which we have created now. In the product form, we need to allow quotation for the product by checking and quote product checkbox which is available here. So let me save this one. And also we can see all the quote products list in the sales. So for getting into the sales, we need to get into the main page and from here we can see and sales. So under the orders, we can see and menu named quote product menu. Okay, we need to get into that. In the code products, we can see all the products that are allowed for quotation. In the product list, we need to select the product by using the checkbox which is available here. And in the action, there needs to be an option for code product. We need to get into that. So it will show a confirmation pop up for creating end quotation. So for creating end quotation, we need to click on the button which is end create quotation. So after that we can see and quotation will be created for the selected products. Now we can do the same for a login user. So for login user let me get into a website for the Mitchell admin. So from here you can see I am in the login of Mitchell admin and also I am in the website page. So in the code website tab we can see a products that are allowed for a quotation. We can request for a code directly from this page or we can see a description by clicking on the product. When I click on that add to the code, it will be add that particular product into the code. And also let me add an another more. Okay. So there we can see I have added a two product into the code. And also we are we can see these products will be added into the cart list. After that, just clicking on the process checkout option which is available here. We are, here we can see and submit code. So after just clicking on the submit code button, a quotation will be sent to you. Now a simple thanks message will let the user know that the quotation has been sent to you. Now we can see the same quotations created in the backend as well. So let me get into the backend. So from here under sales, we can see and quotations which are created from the website page. Yes, this is the one of the quotation that we have created now. So this is same for non-login user as well. So for non-login user, we need to get into the website. So from here, you can see there is a no login. Okay. So now in the code tab, we can see all the products that are allowed for end quotation and we can create end quotation directly from this page or also we can get into the product description by clicking on the product. And let me add a product. So from here you can see I have added one of the product. Now we are in the page of cart. And let me process checkout. When user is not logged in, he will redirect to this page by clicking on the process checkout button. So where they can fill all their own details. So, so from here let me give and details. Okay. And from here we need to give an mail ID and other more informations yes now after filling all the details user can see a next button which is available here now let me get into that user can see a simple thanks message that let the user knows that the quotation has been sent to you now let's see the same quotation which is created in the back end so from here under sales we can see all the quotations that we have created okay so let me check the first one you can see the user will be created automatically so you can see uh, the details that we have given is also automatically fetched right away here so in this way we can make use of this module to create and code from the website for both a login and non-login users thank you for watching